Welcome to the Time Sequence Tutorial. In this tutorial, we will learn how to create time sequences in My Project Designer. We create a new project. Let's give it a name. Now the project is created. Next, we add the connection to our PLC. In this example, we choose Modbus. Now we have the connection filled in and we can create a new view. Let's call it, for example, Motion. Now our view is created and we begin to draw some simple demo factory with conveyor system. We start with the conveyor. First, we draw a rectangle and round the edges. Let's change the fill to transparent color. Now we need to create some circles and change the fill to gradient. We use a radial gradient for this. Now we have our first wheel. We duplicate the wheels. Now we evenly distribute the wheels. And now we have our simple conveyor ready. Now we draw a simple press machine. At this point, we fill the press machine with a gradient to achieve a nice effect. Next, let's create some material objects to flow over the conveyor. And now we are done with our conveyor system visualization. Now we need to add dynamics to our view. First, we enter time sequence mode by clicking on this icon. You can see on the left side there is a time scale from 0 to 100%. We use this time scale to define the specific time points. At every time point we define dynamics in our scene. So now we click on 50%, which in our case is 5 seconds. We move our object under the press and press Add Time. Now, our time position is saved. Next, we move our time position to 60%. We move the objects again, change the properties, and press Add Time. Now this time position is saved. We add another 2 seconds to our scene. Now we press and deform the object. We change its fill to red color to indicate an increased temperature. We also lower the press. Again we click on Add Time to save this time position. During the next one second, we will move the press up. Click on Add Time. At the end, we make our object leave the conveyor. Again, click on Add Time. Save it by clicking on this icon, and now we can play the time sequence. Let's click on Play. We can see that adding dynamics to our scene is really simple and efficient. Finally, we can download our project to our device running MyScada. We choose MyScada Desktop running on the local PC. 
We download the project to MySCADA by clicking on Download to Devices. And we can view the project live. In Views menu, let's choose Motion. We can now see our material moving, being processed and released. So as you can see, adding dynamics in My Project Designer to your project is very simple with MySCADA. Thank you for your attention.